Hi, I'm Nate Wachowski, and this is a debate on video game violence. I am anti-video games, and my associate over here is pro-video games. Hi, I'm Mike Young. All right, first question. Do you believe that video games cause violence? Um, I actually think that uh, video games improve hand-eye coordination and entertainment in teens. Does that answer your question? Yes. Yes, it does. Well, uh, with that being said, brain scans of kids who played violent video games show an increase in emotional arousal and a corresponding decrease of activities in the brain involving self-control and attention. Well, if you remember April 20th, 1999, an assault on Columbine High School, murdering 13 and wounded 29 occurred. And that was all because of the game Doom. What's your take on this? Um, see, I don't think you can put the entire blame on that game. Because if you read the uh, book, She Said Yes, about one of the victims, it had a lot more to do with Marilyn Manson, metal music, and that book has nothing on any video game whatsoever, so I don't know if you can actually pin it completely on Doom alone, when you could just pin, when the people who are actually responsible should be the ones that we give the responsibility to, and not the video game. Based on, based on recent results, I think parents should be aware of the relationship between violent video game playing and the effects that it has on ch young children's brain. See, this doesn't mean that their kid is just going to go on a violent rampage shooting cops if they play an hour or two of Grand Theft Auto or Call of Duty. Why don't people do studies on violent movies or violent TV shows? Well, matter of fact, someone has. A psychology professor at Kansas State University conducted an experiment finding that similar effects on children who play 30 minutes of a violent video game are the same as people who watch violent TV shows or movies. Okay, well, see, what about the problem with children needing to be more fit and not sit inside and play video games all day? Well, um... Actually, with new systems like the Wii, PlayStation Move, and games like this, sports champions for the PlayStation Move, you can actually get athletic while playing video games. Even though these games are keeping you fit, they can be just as, maybe even more violent than the other video games, because you are actually wielding a weapon and learning how to use it. Even stuff like this gun, it is actually teaching you how to use this gun. Not all games are violent. I mean, there's this new Rock Band 3 that's coming out, and it is t it's going to create a whole new generation of musicians because it is actually teaching you how to play guitar, bass, piano, etc. Um, this is every note in the song in the correct position, uh, the correct way that the guitarist for Dio played it. I can't remember his name right now. So this, this is a real, fully functioning six-string guitar. Absolutely. You can unplug it from the game, plug it into an amplifier, and go rock out in his band in his garage if he wanted to. Absolutely. Right now, I mean, he could plug that thing right in. There's a jack in the bottom, and it just works.
Go. Hi, my name is Nate Wachowski. Now is... you sound like Billy Mays. No, look, look at the camera. Uh, how loud do you want me to be? <laughs> that loud. Okay.